for the super slow performance. Yeah, I'm gonna skip it however I can. Hopefully you can see it on uh, YouTube land or whatever, but... Uh, well, we'll try our best, you know? I mean, it was already the prologue. I mean, jeez! And, and again, and I'm sorry for crying on camera. I think it, it, it's, this is one of those rare moments where I had what anime fans call the feels, you know? Like, I really could relate to what the cat girls were really saying, so like... Yeah, I just had that moment, and you know, where I was just thinking about what I'm dealing with and things like that. But don't worry, I'm all good. I'm all good for it. So I'm hoping to continue our, the, the stuff I bring to the table here on Twitchland and make it a better place. Anyways. Stop fooling around! The two cat girls showed off their uniforms they had just received com comedically. Swamp with work, I turned away from the two cat girls. Uh, yeah, it does look really good. Although it was last minute, I'm glad we found something decent. Ah, it looks good on you too, Vanilla. I'm counting on you too, you know. <laughs> They're cute name tags on their uniform. I love them. My cat girl sure energetic. I looked at the frolicking cat girls out of the corner of my eye as I wiped the trays and tableware. We open tomorrow, huh? The necessary ingredients were already in the refrigerator and the decorated plants for the shop had arrived. I figured there were more excitement for to all of this, but naturally that wasn't the case. Time did fly by while we were trying to get everything prepared though. I reached for the business cards that had just arrived that morning. <laughs> it didn't have a phone number, apparently. Although it could be at the back. I just wish it was a two-sided card to look at. No, that's exactly what business cards are used for. She knew about protecting personal information, but not about business cards? Well, I mean, it was true that it would be a pain if I was in some sort of strange business or anything like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, it would be nice if everything went like that. I rubbed a high-spirited chocolate on her head as if that dream had already been granted. If she was already this genuinely happy about things, I began to feel like it might all go well. It really was reassuring to have someone else here along with me. I found myself thinking about all that again. What's wrong, Vanilla? Uh, no, I don't mind at all. It was rare for Vanilla to want something like that. But I imagine even cat girls like to have mementos. I had several hundred cards, so it really wasn't all that big a deal. Okay, I had a lot made, so go ahead and take however many you like, okay? Hey, wait, you can't take all of them! That's not what I meant by take however many you want! I watched Chocola take the box and go. Maybe Japanese was hard for them to understand. Nekopara. Ah, oh, it continues tonight. <laughs> what is this? Oh boy. That was how I felt watching those two get so engrossed in a regular cat toy. Well, it did say go ahead, so for now, I'll just let them play with it. Hmm, where can I find books on cat girls? As I looked around the store, an apron clad shop clerk came up to me. Do you have any books on raising cats? The humanoid kind, that is. Wow, there are, sure are a lot of books on cat girls. I was so taken aback by the tightly packed amount of books on cat girls, my thoughts happened to slip out. A cat girl's feelings, cat girl education, cat girls at full speed, or not. I didn't understand the last one, but in any case, there were a lot of books. <laughs> Oh no, my little sister is her own. Uh, uh, I mean, wait, no, I am their owner. I thought I, sh I should do a bit, little bit of studying up on them. It did feel awkward to declare that I was their owner. But to be able to say that I was their owner was also something that made me a little bit happy. I would say it was part of my caring personality. A wry smile formed on my face as I watched the two of them frantically slap the cat toy from a distance. Wait, they're still doing that? The shop clerk came back and handed me a book. Cat Girls, Year One to Adulthood. Right, that would be important. I rapidly flip through the pages. Eating habits to promote growth, mating season, stable period during pregnancy, cat girl training, ways to deal with cat girls, cat girl personality, schooling. It covered topics all the way to athletic competitions involving cat girls. <laughs> I 
ッさんと猫ちゃんとの関係も家族によって様々ですからね専門的な本には踊りますけども最初の入門編としてはこちらがいいかなと思いますでもあれだけしっかりした猫ちゃんたちですし人間と同じように話をしてあげれば大丈夫だとも思いますけどね You're right. They seem better raised than I was. I suddenly remember not too long ago when Chocola and Vanilla managed to talk me out of sending them home. As an owner, I better study it up. With that thought in mind, I handed the book back to the shop clerk. Well, in that case, I'd like to buy this book. What's up? Neko chan to chiga saihen ki ni itte ita yo desu ga, a chira wa dou nasaimasu ka? Oh, over there? Shinga, kono mama ja, nukora shinde shimaimasu. Well, I guess I'll get that toy too. Also, do you have any drinks? Sometimes I really wondered if their heads were screwed on right. Watching the two cat girls roll around as if on the verge of death suddenly made me feel anxious. Well, I'll hang this up in the room, so play with it all you want, okay? Their eyes flickered towards the toy that was jutting out of the plastic bag. I guess on a genetic level, they really were cats. The shop clerk did tell me that's just how things are, after all. Hmm? I wasn't planning on it, but was there something you wanted? Well, I guess if you want to go, then we can go. Using such unclear words was uncharacteristic of Vanilla. Just the other day, I had bought her a full set of hair care products. I guess there was some medicine I wanted to stock up on, so I didn't mind. Alright, let's go then. Objective? Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. Maybe cat girls' lives aren't that easy. I thought about that as we headed towards the drugstore. <laughs> it's something like that. Look, can you keep it down? Alright? Stares from others in the store were piercing me once again. There's no way I could get angry at their innocence either. Please try to understand my situation. In any case, why don't we go that way? There should be medicine over there. Oh boy. <laughs><笑>お薬ご主人様は何のお薬をお買うんですかお薬ってお薬苦しかったりするときに飲むんですよねお薬して主人様どこか痛いんですかそれなら病院行った方がいいんじゃないですか<笑> 
It's just some household medicine, but thanks for your concern. I calmed down the concerned Chocola, who was right up in my face. Household medicine is the kind of medicine you buy, just in case something happens at home. That time wasn't normal. Choco is a cat girl too, you know. If you only had a slight cold and medicine from the local short store, should be more than enough, okay? She picked up various medicine boxes and looked at them with admiration. On that note, was it even okay for cat girls to take regular human medicine? A while ago, I saw that Shigure had some medicine that said ship or something on it, but... Yeah, that's about right. I answer vaguely. Well, Chocola hasn't been to a hospital for humans before, after all. It's all right as long as she understands more or less what they are. Huh? Where's Vanilla? Before I realized it, Vanilla had vanished. Wasn't she the one that said she wanted to go to the drugstore too? By over there, you do you mean the outside of the store? I turned to where Chocola was pointing and saw that she was pointing outside. <laughs> All of a sudden, Vanilla came back inside the store. Huh? Vanilla? Where'd you go? No, I mean, you clearly came from outside the store just now. I pointed towards a sign for the restrooms inside the store. There was no reason for Vanilla to lie, though. Wait, she is a cat, so that does it mean that she... Could it be that you didn't know where the restroom was and went outside to... Yeah, that's true, huh? <laughs> There's no way that would be the case right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Vanilla's face was red with rage as I earnestly apologized. So that's how Vanilla looks when she gets angry, huh? It's difficult to make sense of a cat girl's pride. It's going to be a tall order, so I'm counting on you two, alright? <laughs> okay, just for the record, this isn't that kind of bakery, alright? What good is it if a customer walks into a bakery and you recommend cakes to them? Well, that's true, but... While I was making preparations for tomorrow, the poster girls were off to the side practicing greetings. I thought I heard them say they were going to help earlier, but... Uh, oh well. Well, what I was doing could be done by one person for now at the very least. Mm, so that's it. I had a taste of the custard I had just made. There were no clumps and the taste was uniform. The sweetness was superb too. Now then, next I need work on the pie dough.
Did you two want to have a taste? I handed the custard-covered spatula over to them. Okay, okay, understood, but this is the last one, okay? This time I gave each of them a small spoon. Fast, just like a cat. The two of them were wholeheartedly licking their spoons. Well, I suppose their straightforwardness was sort of cute. Well, even though I did ask for assistance, you two are just cat girls after all. Ah, don't jump at all like that all of a sudden. I mean, it's dangerous. Hey, Vanilla, just don't go and take more yourself. That's a lot more than a mere taste. Vanilla, <laughs> let go of me! Alright, I'll make it! It's vanilla bean. The customers aren't hamsters, you know. What just happened? Oh. Okay. Oh, as long as it's covered, it's all good. That's why I told you not to open your eyes. I'm gonna wash you off again, okay? You reap what you sow, right? Now come on, close your eyes. I washed all the milk and fresh cream off chocolate and vanilla in the shower. It's a small blessing that the damage was just limited to you two, huh? Although cleaning the bakery up did take a lot of effort. Uh, now that you mention it, that is true. Come on, you get that for opening your mouth. Just keep quiet for a bit, alright? When they were young cat girls, I did occasionally bathe with them. But once they started to mature, I refrained from getting in the bath with them. It wasn't because I felt guilty or anything, though. Ever since they were small, I thought of them like little sisters, and maybe even daughters, in a way. Besides, they've become more feminine to some degree, too. Wait a minute! They're cat girls! What am I even thinking? Doing thinking stuff like that! Uh, oh, uh... <laughs> It's nothing at all. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, right. Um, I was just thinking that your hair has gotten longer. Uh, 
ながりだから仕方ないね飼い猫のお願いも聞いてくれないご主人だから So you two are cat girls You're also maturing girls as well, okay? Have some shame! At least for a little. Sheesh, you two act like cats only when it's convenient, huh? Come on, I'll wash your heads now, okay? With shampoo in my hands, I went to work it into a lather in their hair. Their hair was beautiful and free of split ends thanks to Shigure's constant care. Even to the untrained eye, I could see the merits in having them grow out their hair. Your eyes have been closed during the whole time, though, Vanilla. Besides, to think I'd lust for cat girls like you two, when you're just like troublesome daughters to me. Yes, yes, it is my honor. Pleasant thoughts floated through my head. As I stroked their hair, the idea of taking care of cute daughters didn't actually sound so bad to me. After all, even Shigure used to constantly follow me around long ago. I suppose it's okay for me to say I'm rather good at taking care of others. Now come on, while I'm washing your hair, you better make sure to wash the rest of you too. And don't forget the tails either, alright? <laughs> I already have my hands full wa with washing your hair. Yeah, why don't you do that, alright? I'm gonna pour water all over you again. Now close your eyes and mouth and hold your breath. Okay, okay, you're up next. <sighs> it was a lot of effort, but this kind of change of pace might have been good. As I, I carefully washed their hair, the, that thought crossed my mind. Good lord. Oh man, oh man, I can't even. Okay, looks like the sponge cake dough has a good consistency. I covered the dough, bowl of dough with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. It's not like we'll have a packed house on opening day. So this much dough should be enough. All that was left to be prepared for when the bakery actually opens. Okay, the only thing that still needs to be done is to cut up the fruit for the toppings and then I'm done, all right? I stretched and then looked at the clock. The hour hand had already moved from 11 o'clock to midnight. Chocola, vanilla, I'm almost done. So you two can go and sleep first. Hmm? <laughs> I looked over my shoulder to see the two of them sleeping fitfully on the sofa. They leaned against each other cozily, smiling as if in the middle of a wonderful dream. And they said they'd be awake until I finished. They'd been full of activity since the morning, so they were pr probably exhausted. I crouched down and poked both of their cheeks.
Chocola and Vanilla were one step ahead, acting as waitresses in their dreams. It sounded like they were in a rush, as if Le Soleil was packed. They really still are children, aren't they? They were cute like children, excited before the start of a trip. I gently rubbed them both on the head, and the sweet smell of their leave-in hair treatment tickled my nose. Come on, you two. You can't sleep here, all right? We're going to bed. What are you two talking about? It didn't look like they had any intention of waking up. Without any other choice, I picked them up one at a time and carried them to the bedroom. You two really are a handful. I covered the two closely curled up cat girls with a blanket. Once more, I gently rubbed their heads before I quick, quietly closed the bedroom door. Okay, just one last bit. Alone in the living room, I stretched and took a deep breath. I need to work even harder now, for Chocola and Vanilla's sake too. As I murmured the names of my precious family members, I stretched my hands out and continued my preparations. That top one actually fits. I'll explain later. 